Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Trucking From Scratch with David McGill. And in today's video, I'm gonna do a case study on a lane that we're currently running. Now in this video, I'm gonna break down the numbers behind this lane, as well as how we found this lane and you know the decision-making process in selecting this lane. Now my goal for this video is for you to gain some helpful insight that you can then uh, apply in your business or your business plan. Now, before I get started, I wanna give a quick shout out to uh, Jonathan in Indianapolis. Uh, now, Jonathan uh, recently got his CDL um, and he got hired on at this job here in Indianapolis. And uh, he was having a conversation with his trainer um, and he was explaining to his trainer that um, my videos inspire him to get his CDL and get into the trucking industry. Um, but what Jonathan didn't know is that his trainer is my best friend. He's been my best friend for like the last 22 years. Um, so I just thought that was super dope, uh, not only for me, but uh, for my boy Alfred to hear, you know, from have a firsthand encounter with somebody who uh, actually gets uh, benefit and value out of these videos. Um, so man, shout out to, to Alfred and Jonathan. Um, and Jonathan, I'm gonna tell you like this, Alfred, he's a, a, a great dude, um, but he's not a real truck driver. Um, don't let him convince you otherwise. Um, next time you see him, you can ask him to explain why I say he's not a real truck driver. Now the lane that I wanna break down for y'all, it came to me through email. Um, now when you sign up for these load boards and when you're booking loads, um, you'll end up getting uh, emails from brokers um, who will have freight that they need moved. Um, and like a lot of times the, the details will be right there uh, in the email. Now this particular lane came by way of one of those mass emails. Now uh, some of the details of the lane is, is dedicated. Now what does dedicated mean? Uh, Dedicated just means uh, that it's regular, consistent freight. Uh, so we don't have to look for it. It's already there um, and we can, we can run it as long as we want to. Um, now, I don't want this to be confused with like contracted freight. There is no uh, long-term relationship established between uh, us and the broker or the, the actual shipper. Um, that would be, you know, contracted freight. That, that's not what this is. This could end at, at any time. It's also power only, meaning we move the company's trailers for them. Like, so we have no need for our own trailers on this particular lane. We're just moving uh, the shipper's trailers from location to location. It's local. So the driver ends in the same place that he starts every day. Um, now the day could be anywhere from 200 to 400 miles though. We never know exactly how many it's gonna be. It really just depends on, um, you know, what the, uh, what the day calls for and what the deliveries call for. Another detail is it's five days a week. Now that's not necessarily Monday through uh, Friday, but it is just some combination of five days a week. And last but not least, this load pays $1,100 a day or $5,500 per week. So here's like five uh, key components uh, to this particular lane that we're running. It's, it's a dedicated lane that's power only, it's local, it's five days a week, and it pays $1,100 a day. So now I wanna actually break down the details of the numbers on this particular lane. So like I said earlier, the revenue, if we're looking at this on a weekly basis, the revenue is $5,500 per week. Now, because I use a factoring company to factor these loads and get paid quicker, I have to pay a factoring fee of 3% of revenue. So in this case, that's $165 a week based on $5,500 in revenue. Now the next expense that we have to account for is uh, the driver payroll. Now the driver 
gets paid $275 a day. So that's uh, 1375. Now, because this driver is a W-2 employee, there are other uh, payroll expenses um, that the company has to, uh, has to bear. So driver pay for the week is $1,500, is what the expense is to the company. The next expense is insurance. Now we actually pay insurance on a monthly basis, but if we broke this down as a weekly number, it is $405 per week. Now in previous videos, I explained that we rent trailers when we first got started. But in this particular, this particular lane is power only. So we have no trailer rental expense. Now the last major expense to account for is fuel. Now, when we first started this, this lane uh, back in the summer, the fuel expense would be anywhere from like eight to $900 a week. Once the fuel prices went up, we, we would see uh, we would see weeks where we were spending you know eleven sometimes twelve hundred dollars. The last few weeks it's been it's been right around a thousand dollars a week. Now you'll notice that fuel is our second highest weekly expense. So as a business owner, it's important for me to uh, manage this number. And what I found is the easiest way to manage this number is by maintaining our trucks using only high quality products like Shell Rotella's T6 synthetic engine oil. Now the reason we like Shell Rotella is because not only does it help us get better fuel efficiency, but it also helps us keep our maintenance costs down. And like I said earlier, as a business owner, uh, one of your main goals is to control your costs. So we found that Shell Rotella is a product that allows us to do that. Now, if you wanna find out where you can purchase Shell Rotella's products, then check out the link in the description of this video. Now to calculate what the gross profit is, we'll just take our gross revenue uh, minus these expenses and we get roughly about $2,400. Now keep in mind, this isn't all the expenses, but it is the bigger ones, but it does not include uh, repairs that, that happen on the truck. For example, uh, just last week, uh, we had an issue where we needed to get the windshield replaced, and I think it was like six or $700. Um, so just know that this $2,400 isn't the number that um, we just take home. There are, there are other, uh, other things that come up that this $2,400 number still does uh, have the ability to uh, fluctuate every week. Now, the last thing I wanna cover in this video is the revenue. Now, if you remember earlier, I said this lane pays $1,100 a day for five days a week for a total of $5,500 a week. Now, I know people who are consistently generating seven to eight thousand dollars a week and sometimes even more now the reason why this lane is more appealing to me is because i don't have to find these loads um, we have them automatically because they're a dedicated route so i don't have to look for these loads on a daily basis um, we get sent the we get sent the rate confirmations for the entire week and the driver he just coordinates with the shipper so there's never a reason for me to have to get up um, and look for a load for the driver to book because he already knows what he's going to be doing every day. Everybody knows. And so because of that, because of that ease of operation, I'm willing to take less money to have to do less work. But keep in mind that everybody's situation is going to be different. Like there's not a one size fits all. Now, if your business requires you to generate $8,000 every week, then obviously this lane wouldn't work for you, but it works out uh, very well for us. And it also allows us to have a nice balance to where I'm not constantly looking for loads and the driver's not always having to do something different every day. It does get a, a variety because in his, in his daily routes because the routes do switch. However, he always knows that um, 
He's going to be picking up in a certain city and this, he's going to be returning to that city at the end of the day. So for us, this works. Now, I'm not saying that that's the right approach for everybody, but I did want to explain like why, uh, why this lane is advantageous for us as opposed to um, going on the low boards um, and having to look for loads every day. At this point, for me, it's all about ease of operations, and this lane allows that. Now, as a quick recap of the video, we talked about how this lane came about. We also went over the details, the, no the details of the numbers, and uh, I explained my thought process in choosing this lane over uh, other options. Now, hopefully you were able to pull some information from this video that can help you in your trucking business or your trucking business plan. Now, if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section. Also, if you have something to add, go ahead and leave it in the comment section as well. If you know anybody else who could benefit from this information, you make sure you share this video with them. And as always, thanks again for watching.